today has been about fighting my inertia. I had about an hour where I felt very tired, wanted to procrastinate, was dithering about whether I should do any work or whether I should try and get some rest. And eventually I remembered my mum telling me numerous times when I was going through difficulties, Karahoja, which means stand up. And uh, so I said that to myself out loud, Karahoja. So I got up, came to the desk and just hunkered down and did the work. Now, I know why I was procrastinating because I'm at that critical point in a demo where I could carry on hacking stuff together and it would work. But you know that sooner or later you're going to have to pay the technical debt. And for a demo, the longer you go on, the worse that technical debt is going to get. And you're going to have to do things properly at some point anyway. Now, here's a key thing. You cannot afford to get into the mindset of perfect engineering from the beginning because that just kills your productivity because that's what leads you down to, oh, well, you know what? Might as well write my own engine or might as well start from scratch or what if I used Unreal, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. And so you have to do just enough engineering to allow you to model the thing that you're going to do. And the reason you do that is even though you know that you're going to have to chuck some of this or maybe even all of this away, it gets you to the next stage in a much better state than if you just hacked it together. But unlike a massively engineered solution, it will get you to the next stage more quickly, but also with without having um, a ton of code that exists for its own sake. You don't want that. You don't want an over-engineered lump that might not serve your purpose, especially when you're feeling your way forwards. Now, I've been through this many times. I know the difficulties. So I started off very, very simply. So in Chimera, you have the idea of a room. So I created a room class and you have the idea of a map. I have at the moment, a map namespace. I don't have a map class because I'm not working with maps yet. I don't know what form the maps will take. They're not likely to be the same as the original Chimera, right? They're not likely to be regular. They're not likely to comp contain equal size rooms. So let's leave that. Um, then I've got the idea of objects and rooms, some of which are static and some which are interactive. I know that there is going to be an element of interactivity to the walls because that's one of the first mechanics that I want to try and implement. So I created a room class, sorry, a room object class from which is derived um, an interactive room object class. And I applied that class, which is fairly stripped down and minimal, to the walls, which are going to be, in essence, um, interactive. Spoiler alert. Um, and they, uh, the, the base class, which is a room object, when it's created, adds itself to a dictionary, which means that later on, when I want to find room objects and they're mapped to game objects, they're really easy to find. So for example, I know that when the player character controller collides with a room object, which right now are walls only, um, if I search the dictionary for um, the game object I've collided with, it will return a room object if it's actually a room object, in this case a wall. And that all works now. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, the next stage will be to work on the mechanic, which is a little bit involved. I've also added the in control asset. So I don't have to worry too much about handling controllers later on. Biggest problem I face right now is that I'm not able to get this working on PC. It's a Unity issue. It crashes when I try and um, pull the exact same project onto a much more powerful PC than the MacBook I'm working on. <clears throat> Unity has always been a bit hit and miss like that. It's really frustrating because I want to share builds and the only way I'm going to be able to get any kind of feedback is by having PC builds. No one's got Macs. Well, apart from a lot of the people I know, I know a few people complain at me saying that, but the truth is most people have PCs and that's what they want to play on. 
so I would really like to get over that. If you're from Unity and you're watching this, you know where I am. Please help me get it working on the PC. In the meantime, I'm not going to create an artificial problem for myself. I'm not going to try and get it working on the PC. I already have uh, a path on the Mac where I can push forward on. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. So happy with progress onwards.